Hello, welcome to Equity Way with Future Super Structuring News. My name is Fasha Uchet. Today, we want to show you something special, very, very important, which seems to look like an um, angle beam, but it's not an angle beam, and we call it what? We call it uh, cobble. So, as you can see, looking at this structure here, you can see we have two way cobble and we have a single cobble. That means this one is double. As you can see, this one is double, and since it's double, sorry, so as you can see, this is double, double cobble. Why this one was single cover in this structure so therefore how do you now um, design it using the protest structure software so let's see how we can now show you how to see how what to do with this single cover and also double double cover so therefore let's start now looking at this sorry looking at this looking at this uh, uh, portal detail this is where you come to design your cover is that okay so now we now come to design library and from design library you can see cobble so we click on it and once you click on it a dialog box will appear and once it appears you can see cobble one now if my cobble one is a single as you can see it's single and if my cobble two is double understand i have to put two then i come to this place you see cantilever count is what it's not single it's what is double is that okay can you see it now it's double so what you are see what you are seeing here so you can see this double now you can see this side and this side so you can see it that's a double cobble is that okay that's double this is double and then this is single if you feel like i click on this like this so you can see single so and that's why you are seeing this one also single this is now so this one now in my, in my in my design i might be having this one as what cobble one and this one as what cobble two so which means that after designing this one as cobble one i have to come and design this one and, and as what cobble two depending on my on my what on my design and the location of my cobble is that okay so that is that so let me go back to Porter. Um, detail so looking at this this is what we are having is that okay this is what we are having but before you continue up aside after you have chosen your um cantilever count is that okay which is either single or double then the next thing to do first of all is to put your load is that okay because it is your load that will not determine what the kind of foundation um, section or dimension you are going to use that will pass the design is that okay because if i just put anyhow value here if I put any hard value here and later I now go and enter my value for load, we discover that this value might be uh, might be useless. Actually, might be useless. 89 to 90 percent might be useless. So the best thing to do is to first of all do what? Put your load. Is that okay? Load your cobble first. Is that okay? So I'll come to this place and click on what on load first. So you can see, you can see the load, the load that is resting on this, on this cobble. Can you see it now? So you see that it's attached. It's attached to what? It's attached to your column is that okay it is well attached to to your column so now since it's well attached to your column since it's well attached to your to your column you have to know the load is that okay the load is very very important so very important as i said it's very important and when you look at cobble you discover that cobble are structural you know as at times we call it a um, bracket understand we call it a bracket but before i continue we discover that uh, when we talk of cobble they are reinforced uh, structural members is that okay so and this looking at it me looking at it you can see that they are short short structural projected uh, member we also call it what that cantilever cobble is that okay it's a cobble with what with what with a short distance is that okay that's this what we call cobble is that okay so and the purpose of fit is used to do what to transfer vertical or horizontal forces from beam to wall or to column is that okay we, from beam don't forget i say transfer what vertical and horizontal forces from where from beam to what to wall or to what to column so that is a that so looking at this so for us to know the load we have to do a calculation to get this load so because if you look at this structure here you can see as you can see this slab here you can see it's resting on this cobble here isn't it and this one also is resting on this thing on this one on this cobble here so therefore you need to know the load is that okay the weight of this including it on that is acting on that's resting on what on this particular cobble is that okay so you have to know it and once you know you have known the value understand different from what single cobble is that okay this is one is one way whatever be the value here you put whatever be the value here you put whatever value here you put so that is that and for us to continue i will now go to my my portal detail now and put what my value let's assume after getting doing my calculation just i've shown you the, the load that is resting on it let's assume it's a, let's say um, let's say 450 let's use it on 450 now from this 450 is that okay from the or let's even use a higher value is that okay and let's see how we can design it to pass the design is that okay so let's use a, let's say um 800 is that okay 800 i first of all enter what my value force 800 so before then then after i've entered my value 800 and now this one this is a lateral load you can see it's already filled 
filling here vertical load you can see it's already filling here so this one let's based on the design the lateral load from this uh the technical report whatever be the value you are going to put it here let's say i'm let's say 621 22 let's use 22 or let's 22 or 20 or let's just leave it let's leave it at 20 so that is that so i haven't done this one now i'll now it's now i'll now go to what my dimension and start exactly to ensure that this place what passes the what the design so now what am i using let's say i'm using a single let's say a single exactly if it's double don't forget if it's double i have this and if it's single if it's a single i have this and not only that now this type you can see cantilever count is what single then cantilever shape what's the shape this one is tapered if it's rectangle can you see it now you can see the rectangle that type of it is that okay so whichever one you want to use for your design so that's it's left for you as a structural engineer is that okay so that is a, that's that so i'm using a tapered uh, shape is that okay so that is that now when you talk of uh cobble length now from this point you can see this is a, this is a column here this is a column here isn't it now from this column pro uh, out the cobel co projection is what we have to know it so now left for you now based on the kind of load that you want to carry you can let's see we are having a what we call this 450 i'm using a 450 sorry 450 projection is that okay that's from this point here to this place 450 i'll not click on somewhere else so you can see it has extended so now when you talk of cobel width now this cobel width depends on your column uh, size is that okay depend your column size so if i'm having for example i'm having for example let's say i'm using two to five column is that okay so you can see it has reduced so automatically coming to this place i cannot be having a cobble that is more than what two to five two to five is that okay so that will be of the same thing is that okay but you can see it's still failing isn't it this place is failing so i have to use the same cobble this is what this is a 500 by what 450 in 500 by what two to five if the side of two to five is where the cobble is you have to use it here then if you decide of uh, where the uh, we have a word we call it um 500 yes you can use a 500 so that all depends on what on on you so that is uh, that is that let's now assume my cobble is what my column is a uh, 400 is that okay by 400 for instance 400 maybe say that uh, uh, square column is that okay maybe say square column that is that now my cobble here my cobble width here let's see i want to use 300 is that okay i'm using 300 is that okay 300 is okay where is it okay sorry cobble width okay it's 300 sorry okay 300 i haven't done that we have a what calculation uh, calculation length this one is talking about this place is that okay this value here is very important because it's from there you can see this values here will be changing so if this one is 250 let me use the word there. let me use the 800 800 let me see okay so can you see it now you can see the value is 275 sorry 2470.42 less than what 1005 use it now which is very very okay is that okay so if i reduce it also let me see at least i reduce this to 500 let me reduce 500 okay so you can see 1442.223 less than 1442.14 is somehow close for me it's somehow close i can say let me use 750 is okay 750 let's see okay which is still better is that okay it's better that's that then coming to this place also my h now cobble top uh, height cover top you can see this is my cover length top from here to here is my h1 is that okay from here to here is my what my h1 so and i'm using what 450 is that okay i'm using 450 that's the thickness that is thickness of this just like your slab your slab thickness if you look at this let me show you if you look at this now from this place from this place to this place is what we are talking about before we now to go from here to this place is that okay so let me zoom it from this point from this point here to this place is what we are talking about as my what as my h1 which is what which is my top uh cover top height which is this one from here to this place now the next one is from this point to this point is what we are talking about what my cover bottom height which is my h2 is that okay we are referring to this place now from this point here to this point is that okay that's what we are referring to so i'll now come back to this place i'll come back to this place now since i uh, 350 is failing let me also use 450 and see 450 let's see let me see okay it has passed is that okay now it has passed is that okay it has passed the design that's good you can see we first of all enter the value when we enter the direct sorry the load 800 initially when it was 600 it was okay but the moment we entered our load as 800 you can see that there was a failure here is that okay there was a failure here for on our what vertical uh, load is that okay there was a failure so before now it starts using our dimension to what to make it pass is that okay from that load we know the dimension of our what of our cover so that is that so i've done that now 
here we are done this is a 400 and then this one is what my age now h is two is what from here to this place these are from here like this like this to this place is that okay that's what we are talking about and then after that leave coefficient of uh, friction as 1.1.4 uh, don't forget this one our column section we have already entered it without your uh, section of your column you know that's what you're going to enter here i mean this column here this column here is that okay this column here you can see you can see this column you can see it without your section looking at this this one look like a square column is that okay though the size is not known but automatically from what we are seeing is what is a square square the column so that is that now having done this now we have also done our loading is that okay we have also done our loading now we cannot come to what to my uh, option is that okay my option this way i choose i want to use grade what grade 25 grade that is high my concrete i want to use grade, uh, grade 25 I want to use grid 25 since my also grid for design is 20 is 25 so let me also use grid 25 for it is that okay i'll come here and click on grid 25 and click on what on okay is that okay that is a that is that now having done this like this you can see there are changes taking place is that okay then my um my grid of reinforcement is that okay Characteristic this grid of uh, reinforcement my reinforcement i'm using what um 410 i'm going to use 410 then click on okay is that okay so that is that and then the, my diameter my diameter so i'm using the whatever be the diameter of your that you want to use you can make use of it is that okay so let me just leave it like this so at default so you can just leave it like this so that is that so but for your own case time of design you have to choose is that okay you have to choose uh, which reinforcement are you going to be using is that okay so that is uh, that is that now coming to um link my link also i'm using a 410 the same thing 410 then my diameter of a link uh maybe 20 uh, 50, 20, sorry my diameter of link is a uh, 10 i'm using y10 so let's see what we have here okay y10 let me just choose let me just choose let me just choose let's say from y10 that is that then i click on okay then now code of design now for cobalt design hero code part two allow cobalt design is that okay so i'll come here and click on hero code part two so you can now see it's different from what from ts500 because can you see it now so i'll go to what um euro code part two which is this is that okay that is that you can see based on our dimensions here based on our dimensions here you can see based on the dimension we have here everything still put past the, the design so that is a that is that now having done this click on option and we have done all of this now come to my reinforcement you can see it's very very important so though here is passing can you see it's passing the design very okay so if you have not come let's say i stopped at this point Looking at the sky, yes, my I've designed and my cobalt, my cobalt is very okay. Is that okay? It's very okay. It's very okay. I can print it. You see, you'll be moving around with what with confidence as yes, you have a design, not knowing that there's actually a failure from your design. So now I'll come to my reinforcement. I will enter all of this. Come to my reinforcement. You can see there's a failure. Tension bar. Tension bar. You can see in form of a cantilever. You no, know, it's a cantilever, isn't it? Cantilever. So therefore, you can see the tension bar. Six is what is failing. It's failing. So then the link is very okay. 16, that's okay. Then come to this place you can also come to this place let's reduce it let's reduce to 10 and let's see see it's not passing because of the load is that okay it's not passing let's see um 12 12 12 12 okay 13 okay 16 okay 16 pass okay what about attention let's use the same 16 will it okay 16 is not passing is that okay 20 20 is not passing so you come to this with 25 it's not also passing 30 okay 30 pass so the other things we are going to do to reduce this is that okay to reduce this okay let's see if this one is not passing is that okay if this one is not a uh, passing it's passing at 32 which is somewhat high is that okay and don't forget that when it comes to uh, um reinforcement the lesser your section of your column or your cobble the bigger reinforcement is required for you to be able to pass the design is that okay and the bigger your section of your of your member either column or beam or a uh, cobble you discover the lesser what the reinforcement you have please take note of that is that okay or well, another option that we also another option that we also have since we are having this one like this is to reduce what the the spacing is that okay to reduce the spacing so let's see if i should read this spacing now i read it to 25 sorry the diameter of that now come to this place and reduce it to what 100 let's see 100 let's see you can see that's passed that means with this y25 so the y32 y25 at this spacing what it has passed our what our design so this is how to go about it so once i've done this one now like this I've automatically once i click on reinforcement it has been designed so you can see it's okay i come back to this place 25 
Okay, at the spacing of 100. Again, let me see. Okay, that's passed. So, can you see it now? So, that is that. So, the next thing I will now do, I will now click on what? On OK. Is that okay? I will now click on what? On my OK. Then, once I click on OK, you can see it. You can see our reinforcement here now. So, you can see 8Y25 at the spacing of what? 100. You can see for our tension. So, can you see it now? And also, if you look at it, if you look at it, you can see the shape. You can see how it is. It's like inside this column. You can see it here. So, and that is that. And also, you can see um 2y8 at least of what of 100 so everything at the plan plan level so you can see it 8y16 sorry 5y16 at least of 100 and also this one is 100 and uh, 300 don't forget you remember 300 and this one is our what our section which is 400 call this our column now can you see this is our column is that okay from the plan view this is our column 400 400 is that okay and this is our um cover is that okay from here to this from here to this place are what 450 is that okay and the width of it you can see the width from here to here you say it's what 300 it depends assuming this column now from this place to this place is what 225 this place will have what 225 is that okay and design based on that is that okay so that is that so you can see so from here now you can now export to AutoCAD so thank you very much once again I said if you have not subscribed try to subscribe and also like the, this video thank you very much let's see you next time God bless you and remain blessed bye